My third graders studied civil rights this year. It just didn't make sense to them. Racism, segregation, civil rights. In the words of one of my third graders, that's so crazy. We're all human beings. I am me. I mean, the world calls me Syrian, but it's not me. I wasn't born saying, hey everybody, I'm Syrian. No, you were taught to call me that. Along with whatever you call yourself, it's just a label. See, from birth the world force feeds us these labels and eventually we all swallow them and digest and accept the labels. Never ever doubting them, but there's one problem. Labels are not you and labels are not me. Labels are just labels. But who we are is not our skin. I just want to ask one question. Who would you be if the world never gave you a label? Who would you be if the world never gave you a box to check? Would you be a white, black, Mexican, Asian, Native American, Indian, Middle Eastern? No, we would be one. We would be together. No longer living in the era of calling human beings black people or white people. These labels that will forever blind us from seeing a person for who they are. This causes division, and it is an undeniable fact that when there is division, there will be conflict, and conflict starts wars. Every war has started over labels. It's always us versus them. So the answer to war, racism, and every other ism is so simple that every politician that holds my future in and their hand has missed it. It's the labels. We must rip them off. Isn't it funny how no baby is born racist, proving that deep down we were meant to connect and care for each other? This is our mission. Human beings were all meant to be slapped with labels like groceries at the supermarket. We were meant to be free. And only until you remove them all and stop living and thinking so small. It's where we are free to see ourselves and each other for who we truly are. Rosa Parks, tired, tired of giving in. She said, you must never be fearful about what you are doing when it is right. Ruby Bridges, age six, in 1960 became the first black elementary school child to attend a white school. White opposition forced Ruby to be escorted through mobs of angry whites by federal marshals. After Ruby entered the school, many teachers and white students went home. This was racism and segregation. Martin Luther King Jr. had an American dream. Black and white people on the same team. Not separated, but equal. A nation with freedom, tolerance for all races. His speeches and peaceful marches planted the seed for a movement calling for civil rights against injustice wherever it is streamed. Thurgood Marshall said, Racism separates, but it never liberates. Hatred generates fear, and fear, once given a foothold, binds, consumes, and imprisons. Nothing is, ga nothing is gained from prejudice, and no one benefits from racism. You see, Learning about these people and how they have ch helped change the world have made us more aware of what's really out there. We, we vow, vow to stand up to hate. hate. We vow to stand up for justice. And we, we promise, promise to always be who we are.